Subscribe now to join Team Fresh. What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to New GTA 5 Bots episode 2. Today we have something exciting. I was just on the phone with Trevor and he told me that he knew the location where we can find a police car, but not just any police car, an abandoned, a vintage antique police car that could be worth a lot of money and it's not even from the US I think it's a Brazilian police car so I'm really excited to go find it today speaking of abandoned vehicles uh, there is one right here but hopefully it's in a better shape than this one but anyway we are meeting up with Trevor because apparently he knows the location where we can find this thing so let's go ahead and meet up with him and uh, yeah hopefully he can help us find this thing dude this bike so I picked out this nice little dirt bike because I think we're going to be doing a lot of off-roading today and hopefully it's going to help us today. Oh, uh, take this left! Oh! Yeah, so I think we're meeting him over by Ammunition Store. Maybe he's getting some guns. I don't know. It's Trevor. He's crazy. But I, all I know is that we're going to pick him up right now and uh, he's hopefully going to tell us where to go. Trevor, what's up, bro? What were you doing in there? Where do we go? Go on top of the mountain by the U-Tool store. By the U-Tool store. Okay, I know exactly where it is. Kind of. Okay, so I guess what we're going to try and do, he doesn't know the exact location, so we just have to get to a higher ground. And I did bring a pair of binoculars with me. So I think what we could do is get on top of the mountain and kind of scope out this whole area. And uh, also, at the end of today's episode, we're actually going to sell this police car. So we're going to see how much money it's actually worth. So uh, yeah, leave your guess in the comment section down below. Do you guys think it's worth like, I don't know, $100,000? Is it worth $10,000? Is it worth, um, I don't know, man. By the way, where is the U-Tool store? I think it's on this side, man. I'm like, yeah, I know exactly where I'm going. Nope. <laughs> All right, man. Where is the U-Tool store? There's a couple, I think this back road leads to the store, doesn't it? If my memory serves me correct. Oh, yes, there it is right over there. All right, Trevor, uh, let's go ahead and find ourselves um... Oh, are you okay, bro? <laughs> He's fine, we're fine. So there is this mountain right over here. So what if we climb this mountain, get our binoculars out, and kind of uh, take a look and see what we can find. Oh, Trevor, yeah, we're doing tricks now. We're good, we're good, we're good. Good thing there is no train coming. All right, let me get on top of this mountain. We're gonna whip out the binoculars and we're gonna take a look and scope out this whole area. So yeah, there's a lot of abandoned vehicles here in uh, Grand Sonora Desert and Blaine County in general. Oh, but uh, yeah, I think this might do. What do you guys think? This is like one of the higher points here in Los Santos. All right, Trevor. Woo! Yeah, I think I can pretty much see everything. All right, let's take a look. All right, we got the binoculars out. All right, we're looking for something that looks like an abandoned police car. And it's not even from the US, so I don't even know what it's going to look like. All right, if you guys see it, let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, it should be not on the roadway. It should be somewhere off to the side in a random location, maybe over by the mountain. Hmm. Let's keep looking. A few moments later. Guys, I see the vehicle. It's right off to the side of the mountain. Let's go and get it right now. So we just saw the car. It's on the south side of that mountain over by U-Tool. Trevor, you came through once again. Let's go ahead and grab our motorcycle. We're going to go and retrieve the vehicle. And then our plan is we're going to try and sell this vehicle to Simeon. And uh, we'll see how much money the car is worth. Which, uh, by the way, I don't know. It's like a vintage car super antique it could be worth a lot of money but it could also be worth nothing at all so let me know your guesses in the comment section down below but uh yeah we're gonna check it out and uh, see how much money this thing is worth watch out bro oh oh dude that was actually pretty good minus uh this slight little, little collision here but yeah my guess is that 
I don't know if it's going to be worth that much. I'm going to guess $10,000. That's going to be my guess. Leave your guesses in the comment section down below. Stay until the end of today's episode, and we're going to test it out then. But in the meantime, here we go. Let's go and get this vehicle, dude. I'm excited, man. I am excited to see what it's all about. Here we go, guys. Woo! Where was it? I think it was over here somewhere. Woo! There it is. Whoa, Trevor, Trevor, you want you mind uh, taking care of the bike for me? Here we go, dude. Take a look at this. Policia. All right, this is great. Dude, this vehicle is looking really cool. Telephone, 190. Okay, and that's the unit number, 54183. Dude. Hmm, 541838. Dude, it's got a crazy light bar. Yeah, it's seen better days, guys. Take a look at the, uh, the paint job. It's definitely rusted out. It's been sitting here for a very long time. And, uh, yeah, it's not in a great condition at all. But it is like a, an older car, so it could be worth a lot of money. But, yeah, something happened back here. The... The bumper is all dented in. But anyways, let's get inside. And uh, yeah, we'll drive it to Simeon's shop. And uh, we'll see what it's all about. Trevor, where are you going, bro? I told you, you get to ride the motorcycle. I guess he wants to go for a ride, dude. Okay. What are you, sitting behind me? That's a little bit weird. All right. <laughs> well, let's take a look at this car, man. All right. So we got some kind of lights and sirens. Uh, yeah, not very good, but... It's <laughs> still a cool feature of this car, man. All right, let's take it to Sabian's shop and see how much money he gives me for this vehicle. This car is super slow. Let's actually do a quick top speed run. Leave your guess in the comment section down below. I'm thinking 88, no, 83 miles an hour. That's going to be my guess. Here we go. Right now, we're going to test it out. Approaching 83. Oh, no, Coyote. What are you doing? 82, 83, 84. There he goes, my guess. I think 84 might be it. I don't know if it's going to go any faster than this. 82, 83, 82. Yeah, it's slowing down. 84 miles an hour is going to be the top speed if you guys guessed it. Great job. But yeah, let's take this thing back to Simeon's shop and uh, we'll see how much money he can pay us for it. I'm a cop. Move out of my way. I get to blow through all kinds of red lights today because, uh, well, yeah, it's kind of a police car, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think this thing is looking silly, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how much cash we can get for it. Here we go. We are pulling up. This is Simeon's shop. We'll see how much cash he can give us for it. Hopefully, we don't need to fix it because, yeah, well, we're going to be here all day if we take it to Los Santos Customs. But here we go. Let's sell this thing. All right. Dude, we can sell it for $5,970. I think we should take this deal. Selling price is $7,500. All right. Take it away. Take it away. Woo! We just sold this car for $5,970. I had no idea, Trevor. But thank you for the five grand. I guess I should give him half. We'll split the cash. There you go, Trevor. But yeah, man, that was crazy, though. We found this abandoned police car, and we sold it to Simeon's shop for almost six thousand dollars and look at his inventory though but he's got all kinds of buyers so somebody will buy that police car they're going to restore it oh trevor what are you doing here but <laughs> yeah and uh yeah but yeah anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video we're gonna wrap it up right here if you guys did you guys know what to do don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out